let's focus on our fillable in a user model. So we know where is the user model under app and here is a user model. So by default, uh, the protected fillable only a name, email and password. So let me mm, Okay, password. So create a now phone, which is also a uh, fillable and string country. State. City. Address. post code make sure this field name exactly the same one that we have in our database if i go to a user so and the same field name will be in a field label okay post code so why we create fillable is mm, the main purpose is to protect our fields in our database and the second ones to avoid mass exception. So otherwise, if you are if you have a uh, custom model and the actual mm, uh, actual namespace or actual schemas of uh, the uh, practice of the Laravel, if you have not adopt so the practice is single singular model and the plural database if you have set this uh, singular database table name as table name then you have to manually define here in protected table name and also you have to define the, what are the fillable field otherwise if you not set the fillable field so it will through when we use a create uh, method in our to create uh, some field in a database so it will throw a mass exception and let me show you first the if i go to a controller and auth controller uh, when we register our controller so you see this method is protected function create array data and name email password so there are only three fields are defined so it will that will create a register when we will create a you register a user so it will give send these three fields to database and if you have not defined into a your fillable field it will throw your mass assign exception so that is the why that's why we used mass assign to avoid mass assign exception and to protect our fields okay logo status status and company id company name company name role access and parent id parent id and the comma so we have a country phone country state city address postcode logo status company id and company id company name role access and parent id and we can also make sure these are the fields so phone country state city address postcode logo status company id company name role access and these are the fields okay so in next video uh, we will give all the that field we have set in our fillable so we will create uh, in our register controller 
when we register our new user so what field will be go to database stay tuned